Greetings. Today we're going to take a look at a pressure washer. And if you don't know what a pressure washer is, basically it's a high pressure pump to which you can attach various attachments. You can see in the case of the, the Karcher, you just clip, push in and turn, there's a bayonet connection, and then when you pull the trigger, the, the pump activates and you get a high pressure jet coming out. You can get various attachments. Uh, this is my new Karcher pressure washer, and this is my favorite attachment right now. You can get various other add-ons as well, such as the uh, the floor washer you can see there, the um, various spray lances, or even this one, which is uh, a jetting rod. It has three jets coming out of the back here, and a single jet which goes forward and hits that spray head, so it drives itself into a blockage in a blocked pipe, and basically the, the, the spray around the side then actually it gets right into the blockage and blows it clear. I've able, I was able to use this yesterday and I shifted uh, a blockage, which I think is about three feet long in a four inch pipe. Uh, it was over a decade's worth of moss and stuff. And um, that's why I've got a new pressure washer. Well, I say that's why I've got a new pressure washer. This is why I've got a new pressure washer. The old one, using that same attachment, ran for about half an hour and then packed in. So we'll, uh, we'll take a look inside, see what went wrong, and see how they're made. Unfortunately, I've only been able to get four out of the six case screws out. So I'll, it'll need something uh, a bit better than a screwdriver to get the lid off. It's better. Here's the guts of the unit, and I've already taken most of the bolts out. We've got an inlet, which can be popped off the side like, not like that, there we go, like that. So there's a standard connector which takes a threaded uh, attachment for a hose pipe. There's the outlet, there's the on off switch, the power lead coming in, the motor and the pump, and that's it. Thank you for watching. Just kidding. There's also a switch here which is a pressure switch, so that when the pressure builds up, it knows to stop the pump. So when you pull the trigger, the pressure drops, pump runs, you let go, pressure builds up too high, pump stops. So all we've got in here is, let's take a look. These are the screws which I haven't removed. We've got a rocker and some sort of, oops, but it's, it's just a push on, push off switch. I don't get any light in there. Um, there we go. You can see it's a, just a standard push button wedged down in the bottom there. Around this side, we've got this plastic case which covers the switch and off. The motor capacitor. If I undo these connections, I can get them get this out of the way then. The motor is normally fan cooled. I've taken the fan off, and it's just an induction motor. So, no chance of um, overvolt in these. They're not really fun compared to a, a universal motor. There's not much you can do with them. So, the only thing in here is all these connections to the coils here. Uh, no brushes, no nothing. It's, it's just. Just a lump of metal. But I'll use that to still hold that together while I take the, the pump assembly apart itself. Oh, 
that will come off. There. So let's take a look at that. And this is the pump. Uh, it's quite gunky. Let's go and um, degrease that. I mean, everything's looking so black. I've got all the 150 watts of lighting in here. Everything's all looking horrible. Let's clean it out. There we go, lighting's a bit better in here now. What we've got here is an offset metal plate. And as this spins round with its all bearings and this plate here, a little bit rattly and I've jet washed all the oil out. As this spins around, it pushes on these pistons. So you've got three pistons which are uh, 120 degrees out of phase with each other so that each take turns to press. And I think what's failed in here is something in here. Um, this appears to be a sealed unit but I haven't taken these out yet so let's take a look inside those to see if there's anything else that'll help me get in. Turns out it just pulls apart. So what we have in here are three little, I don't know what, those go through to there. Oh, they go to these two chambers here, I think. No, they don't, because those go, go there. Oh, I don't bloody know. These are the pistons. I think I know how it works. What comes in through here and into this chamber and flows back through here down into these uh, holes here which go out there. So you've got the normal water pressure pushing through. What you've also then got is when that piston pushes up it compresses the water that's already in this section. So it squashes the water. The water can't come back out this way because you've got the one-way valve. The only way it can go is down through there and out. And that, I think, is how the pump works. And, well, worked. Something's gone on it. Uh, it might be one of these valves has gone. Uh, it basically had no pressure. When it was run, when it would run, it was no different whether the motor was, on, was plugged into the mains or not. You had the same, you basically had mains water pressure coming out. So that's why I had to replace it. But I think, that's how it works. Hope you find that educational. If not, I don't know, go and watch videos from kittens or something. We all like videos of kittens. Catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.